Hey YouTubers, imagine with me if you will, Bill Clinton is president. Stores like Fedco can still be found. KB Toys is still in your local mall. Tony Hawk is in the prime of his life doing skateboard tricks like crazy. You're wearing skater pants, tie-dye, maybe a backwards cap, something like that. Batman the Animated Series is in the middle of its run. Superman's just started, and if you turn to Fox, you can find Spider-Man. If this sounds familiar to most of you, it's because I'm talking about the 1990s. Now, imagine our surprise today when we walked into a comic book store in uh, Escondido called Comics and Things, Comics and Stuff, and we found a bunch of cards from the 90s for a very low price. So what do we do? Naturally, we pick them up and let you guys see, the, see us opening them. So, let's take a trip back to the 1990s and open some packs of some cards. Alright, so what have we got? First up, we have the Disney Treasures card pack. These could be found uh, in various things. They came with statues and different sets. Um, yeah, if you go back into our Duck, DuckTales Retro things, the Scrooge McDuck from Top Decks we have came with the Disney Treasures as like a starter pack. Yep. The next we have the Digimon Collectible Stickers Series 1 from way back when. Never got to get these because they really weren't in our stores and I didn't go to card shops that much because they were like mostly basketball and baseball cards like that. What uh, retroactive 90s uh, documentary discovery would be complete without some sort of Tim Burton Batman-esque thing? Well, it's not quite Tim Burton, but we do have the Batman Forever... Uh, trading cards by Fleer. Now you'll notice that we've got Upper Deck, Fleer. Um, in the 90s, a lot of the same companies that were making sports cards were also making um, cards for the various movies and stuff of the time. Yep. And what collection would be complete without... <gasps> Beanie Babies! Ty or TY collector cards. Of course we had these. I got a bunch of these when uh, Playco went out of business in the late 90s in our area. Yep. So it's kind of cool to see these. So let's get started then. Yeah. Which one would you like to start with for them? I don't know. You want to... Disney Treasures? We could start off with that. Alright, so we're going to open these. And we're going to go pack by pack. Uh, open... It. Two okay. of these blue packs, and then one of the Winnie the Pooh packs, yep. it looks like. So we're going to open them and just kind of take turns showing you the cards. Um, do you want to open a pack, a full pack, and show them, or one and then the other as we go through a stack? Either way. How would you like to do it? Why don't we go through a stack, keep it a little bit more interesting. I'll show them, you show them one, and I'll show them one. We'll start with the blue. Yep. Ones. I wish I got in scissors. Who remembers opening these as kids? Well, I'm almost afraid sometimes to, uh, not wanting to rip the package. Yep, makes sense. I will run and get a nice pair of scissors real quick. Otherwise, we're going to be here for three hours as I carefully try to open these without mingling them. Alright, I have brought back scissors for you guys. Just as I open the pack. All right. Oof. We ready? Ram you know ready. First? Show them your first one. All right. First off, I have the Beast here as a hero's card. Oh, man. They're all stuck together. And so here's a look at the Beast. It says heroes, and it's got some pictures around. And then on the back, it's got information. Yep. He looks... Uh, very nice. Ah. As we can see, I got a duplicate. My first one is literally a duplicate of fox cats. I got a villain's one. 
Now, Disney fans, do you, do you know whose dog this is? Do you, Rat and Robin? Uh, he looks like a dog from Looney Tunes. Uh, he's I'm a sure villain. A Disney villain. He was connected with, um, I'm sure he's connected with Pete or something, right? Yep, yeah, this is Pete's dog, Butch. The bulldog. Like I said, even on the back you can see Pluto's nose right there. We have a uh, rabbit as a hero from Winnie the Pooh. You can see him on the back talking about all his uh, stats. I got a black horse. Long forgotten, never to be speak of from the dark ages of Disney, we have Princess Eloise from the Black Cauldron as a hero. We have a uh, Kronk. Probably one of the last ones they would have made for this based on the year because he seems pretty new for yep. these. So, yeah. my guess is based on whatever year this was, if it was close to the 90s, he would have been relatively new. Probably. That would have been 99 when that movie came out, so that would have been... Next we have another villain. Oh, I'm sorry, he was actually a villain. Yes, in the first one he was a misunderstood villain, and he became good for his second, the sequel. We have another villain. This is Percy, the How to Ride a Horse. Is that, that from a, yep, from a Goofy. One of the Goofy How-Tos. And I have uh, Sean Yu from Yulon. Very cool looking one right there. And you can see his uh, stats on the back too. Yeah, I think that you get like a specialty card with it as you would with most. So I have a Disney Treasures card of Pinocchio when he's trying to save Geppetto when he's part donkeyfied. Okay, now Foxcat, I might win on this one because I have Magician Mickey. Ooh. From 1937, it looks like. So, very cool card. Shows scenes from that. And then you've got uh, kind of a description of the cartoon. Yeah. Same with the Pinocchio card here. It's got a description with a different picture. All right. And now we have Winnie the Pooh. Well, it has Winnie the Pooh on it, but it looks like it's got just random characters because the first one is not Winnie the Pooh character. We've got Sinji, it looks like. Make sure. Oh, uh, it says all three, but that's Sinji from Lion King. <coughs> they are all stuck together. Yeah, they are very Then we have old. Prince Eric. <laughs> How many of you girls had a crush on him? Or weird and had crushes on other ones. Then we have a Winnie the Pooh treasures card with him with a gopher. I didn't think he had an actual name. I think he was just gopher like all the others. Ooh, Upper Decks, Upper Decks. This has Upper Decks. How this many of you recognize that from your pack of sports cards in the 90s? The cardboard Upper Deck. Ooh. And then, ooh, we've got Aladdin in card. That's pretty cool. There's the back. I'm not aware that you could get two treasure cards. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be a specialty pack. And then we have Bianca as our last hero card, and that's it. All right, so we're moving on to the Digimon. So I'm going to pull this one out to kind of show you what we've got in there. It looks like we've got a bunch of little stickers and some cardboard. So going through here, we've got Bakemon. Yes, Bakemon. And we have Gabumon doing attack with other Digimon in the back. Looks like that one puts it's put together. And you've got Quagamon. And this one. I'm not going to read all of them. There we go. These are pretty cool. They're like mini cards as stickers. 
And yes, I could probably name all of these. Now you've got some different artwork because you know, the Tohei and the Bandai artwork for some of these. There you go. And looks like we got some specialty ones upside down in here. There's those, and here's our two. Yep, we got hollows. Let's show off the little shininess. And that's what we got in that pack of stickers. That's a lot. Well, there are 150. 151. Oh, my. There's as many as there are Pokemon in the 90s. All right. I'm going to show off mine. Now we have him. And we have... These stickers do have the names on the back. Tokomon. This one. I'm not going to go name by name of each one either. But I'm just showing you what we've got. Probably a lot of duplicates. Probably we'd have to go through. Now this one's pretty cool. It's uh, artwork of some of the main ones. So, very cool. Oh, Sleeping Coromon. Yep, and I've got a Gabumon. My Gabumon was attacking here, so it's just regular. Yep. Very cool. Ooh, baby Oot. Almost babies. babies. Except for Coromon's and the baby. Well, it depends on if you're doing Japanese or American back in the 90s. It's true. And Garubam, Garubamon. So what Garubamon did you fall into? Yep, another baby one. And another baby one, it looks like. I think he's stronger, but he's one of the tinier ones. Okay, we had four four packs of those, so here's pack number three. Here we go. Got one of the bad guys. Another one of the attacking gun. Come on. Got this one. And this one. Another artwork looking one that looks like it's a puzzle. Skull Greymon. Some different artwork with Beomon on it. Uh, that one. And Palmon. Oh, look, we got Akamon. Woo! Another dinosaur. Another looking dinosaur. Edamon. It was a monkey based off of Elvis. This one. And then we got Cedramon. Uh, this weird looking guy. I don't remember his name. Right off the bat. And Kabuterimon. Yeah, it's a shiny. So that was that one. Alright, and my last pack of them. We have uh, different ones, so uh, some very cool ones that you guys can see. I'm not as Adamon. familiar, so I'm letting Foxcat kind of talk it through it. Um, that's looks that's like a part group. of the one. Yeah, there's several that look like a thing. That's Frejimon. That one's upside down. I think that's kind of Balmon or something like that. Thunderboltmon. Thunderballmon. Oh, okay, I had it right. There's that one. Another scene looking one. Some of these are really cool looking. I kind of wish I knew more about Digimon, but I am a little behind in my understanding of Digimon. I do. Um, this looks like it's a shiny one. Oh, uh, yeah. Of uh, Phoenix Mon. Phone Phoenix Mon. Phoenix Mon. Spoiler for those who don't know, that's uh, Beomon's mega form from Digimon Try. And then this one. Another. And another scene. So now we'll jump into the uh, next set of packs. Next, we have uh, Batman Forever. Now, I'm guessing these are probably movie moments or things related with it. 
So let's take a look. First we have uh, Commissioner Gordon. And that makes sense. you got to have Commissioner Gordon in any set of Batman cards. Next you have Criminals Beware. Uh, it's just it's a very cool scene of Batman coming down uh, with his cape spread, Val Kilmer. Um, now I will say I, I actually like Val Kilmer. He was my favorite of the series. Next you have Take Your Chances um, with the Riddler. And this is the Riddler. Jim Carrey's Riddler just kind of there. It was a kooky Riddler, but I could see where some people say he was playing more of a intellectual version of Joker, too. And this one says, uh, Everyone loves to get presents, and the Riddler is no exception. Unfortunately, some presents are not from willing giver. Givers. All this means to the Riddler is that he doesn't have to send thank you notes. So that's kind of a just a little card. It says it's 33 of 36. You show the front. It's holographic of an image. Oh, I didn't even realize that of the Riddler. Yeah. Whoa, it's a very clear image. Yeah, it's a 3D image of Riddler and Two Face. I want to see if I can get it at the right light so that. You guys can see it, but it doesn't pick up it's as not clear pick with the up camera. With, with the camera, unfortunately. Uh, it sort of does now. Yep. Uh, crashing the party. So Batman's coming through the skylight and crashing the party. We have Joy of cro Crooking. So it's Riddler again. Very cool looking. Riddler. We have... The hit and miss card. It's uh, having to do with when Riddler throws stuff at the Batmobile when he gets into the Batcave. Spoiler, it's the one movie where the villains find out his secret. Um, and the one that I had saved for the last because I realized what it was. Uh, talks about the Batcave. And it is a holographic card of the Batcave with Batman standing in front of it. So very cool looking. You can kind of see the shininess there. All right. In my pack here, we have Gotham's Defender, and Batman there. And we have Edward Enigma, pre Redler. Redler. Alone No More, Bruce Wayne card. We have Nighty Night Chase. And we've got one that is built for speed. It looks like it's a hollow card of the Batmobile. I'll kind of see if I can get the light to shine, and you'll see it probably when it goes down the camera. And we have Star Performer. Good old Chris O'Donnell. It's Robin. Well, pre Robin. Dick Grayson. Which is Sword for Richards. An old thing. And we have Victorious Riddler. And then we have Doom to Die. Alright. In our last pack, we have Escape Artist for Two-Face as an escape artist. We have... Uh, looks like it's Robin. Very cool. Uh, Robin Under Glass. Um, I will say this is one of the reasons I really liked the movie was because of their portrayal of Robin. So M it's much nice. better than the one we shall not name. Yep. With George Clooney in it. Chris O'Donnell sneaking a peek as Dick Grayson when he first breaks into the Batcave, I believe. Then we have a Brilliant Madman. Now, for those of you who remember, this was a very famous scene from the movie. Uh, posters. From the posters. I remember the them. Movie. We have Spice of Life. Um, you can see Two-Face with his female assistant, one of them. Weren't they like sugar and spice or something like that? I believe so. 
You now have two face splits for when two face escaped. And you have insane partners. Talking about two face and uh, Riddler. Now this one didn't appear to have any um, holographic one in it. I think with the movie ones in the 90s, you weren't guaranteed, so you could have that happen where you didn't get a specialty card in them. Yep, that's very true. Hey, we found one that got stuck. Yeah, it's called Introducing the Future, and it's uh, the holographic one for this one. I'm trying to try to get it kind of showing... It's weird that we missed that the first time through, but it's cool. And some of these got stuck together. That's what happens when they're old. Well, from that, we'll go on to the TY Beanie Baby cards, or tie, or however you want to say it. So, in these packs, you get a couple sheets of... Well, you get... Let me show this first. You get one of these. So, you get a booklet that's a checklist, plus... Join the club! Join the club! Everybody wanted to be a fan club. And then you also get a sheet of stickers. In this one we've got the horse, the bunny, and the chick. I know the horse is Derby. I don't remember the other two's name. And it's got like a background. And these are stickers, as you can see. Is it Quackers or is that a different duck? No, this the uh, it's not a duck, it's a chick and the egg. I just don't remember the names. I think the bunny might be hops, but I'm not That's sure. That's what I was thinking. And then you get these lovely cards here. Here, so we got Gigi, the poodle, Claude the crab, Daisy the cow, Amber the kitten, how Pouch, the kangaroo, and Joey. Uh, right. Speedy, the turtle. Gracie, the swan. And Rome, the buffalo. And on this one, here, if you can see it, shining the light here, it has a little embossed gold stamp here that says TY Artist Proof. And if I remember correctly with the Artist Proof cards, it's the ones that the person who designed the Beanie Baby approved the card. Alright. Alright, now this is really cool for me because one of the stickers on my first one is my bear uh, Millennium that I actually have is right there in the purple. I don't remember the Patriotic Bear. But I remember that bear's name is Almond. Or yeah. if it's a little darker, it's Pecan. But I think that's Almond. I think that's Almond, yeah. So I remember that, but I cannot remember the name of the red, white, and blue bear. Stars and Stripes, maybe? Might be. We have Sting. Stingray. Stingray. So, very cool. We have uh, Prance. The cat. Now, related with Amber, I believe. No, no, no. Is that a different one? No, this one came before. This one was in the group with uh, Chip, which was the calico cut that was half orange and half black. Ah. And quarters. We got Early. Looks like a Robin or a Cardinal, almost. Robin. We've Hello. got a Pumpkin. A Halloween beanie, I'm guessing. Or yeah, the fall one. Jack o' Lantern. We've got Teddy. No, Teddy was the one that came in different colors, right? I think so. Pretty sure they were all named Teddy, and it was like Teddy Purple, Teddy Teal, Teddy Navy. We've got Kicks. Now, it's funny because this is one that my sister had growing up. And we have... Uh, I think I went through this one already. Well, you have Sting, but it's a special one because you got the artist proof. Oh, I've got the artist proof version of Sting. So that's really cool. It's, you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but it's 3D or it's kind of embossed. It's hard to tell looking at yeah, it. Yeah, these cards are kind of 3D. I can show you a little bit on the back of them. And if you get the light to shine just right, you can see the uh, embossment of it. And here's Fleece. Now her card is actually uh, 
made with the texture of her fleece on her artist proof. So that was very cool. All right, in our next pack we have what our stickers are attached to the same. We get to go to the pond, and we've got kicks. I or I think uh, legs the frog, the mallard duck, and the beaver. I really do not know, remember the names of those at all. Uh, I know legs is the frog. Legs, yeah. I don't, Jake. I think the duck was Jake. Probably. I don't remember the beaver's name. Chomper. Chomper? Maybe. I don't know. Not sure on that one. Okay, then we but have... I think when my sister had uh, Jake the duck, so I remember that one. Yeah, we have Scat the cat. We have Sly the fox, if I can get him off of the other car we have. Oh, we have Crunch the... Crunch the shark. Looks like that's a 3D one. They're all 3D. Oh. All of the Beanie Beaver cards are 3D. Very like cool. Embossed. Then we have Ringo the Raccoon. Echo the Dolphin. And, ooh. Alright, come apart. Then we have Hissy the Snake. I thought it was just Hiss for the Coiled Snake. No, it was Hissy. And then I have another artist proof, Rome. And then I have a specialty one. This is Ziggy the Zebra. And he's a holographic shiny card there. And he's got information on the back. So that's that pack. And our last pack of the TYs, right? Mm-hmm. We have, uh, now this is another one where my sister had two of these. And one of them was actually one of her favorites. Um, stilts. The uh, stork, I believe. Yeah, stilts the stork. Flutter the. Uh, well, yeah, I think that's Flutter. And then I think the frog's name was Smooch. Yeah, I think the that never one. never made sense on the frog why they gave it that name, but whatever. The frog prince. Give okay, the frog we, a kiss. We have a um, Claude. I think we had a Claude already. I think so. I think that was on one of mine. We have Dottie, the Dalmatian. We have Canyon, the Cougar. Very cool. We uh, have uh, Bernie, the St. Bernard. I think we still have those two. They were some of mine. The first ones that Tip I ever got. Tiptoe the Mouse. Sorry, I apologize. It's we're holding it at different angles so that you guys can see, but we have a screen so that we're able to see that we're holding it at the right angle for you guys. We have uh, chops, the lamb makes you hungry, and we have pecan the bear. Um, she's a classic common though. That's a card. Specialty it's looking a card. It's shiny. I don't know if you can kind of see that in the light there a little bit. It's at the back of that one. It's a little bit different than the other ones it looks. Yep, and it's embossed too. And then we've got Pounce, who is an artist proof of the cat. I think we had a regular one of that earlier. Possibly. I like. But uh, there you go. Well, that is all for these, but... Uh, before we go, what was your favorite? Ooh, I don't know. We got so many good ones. I really like the Beanie Babies, just remembering all of the ones from back. Digimon were kind of cool, too, as stickers. And you probably have the other two in mind. Yeah. I have these two that I would say are my favorites. Uh, Magician Mickey and the Bat Cave. Both of those are big parts of my. Uh, are really cool. Um, I like the nearly related Sorcerer Mickey, but that's not quite a magician. So, uh, anyways, this is Rant Robin. And Digi Fox Cat. And we'll catch you guys later. 
I know this was a little bit different, but we wanted to show you what, you, what we got, and we thought you'd enjoy it. All right, talk to you later.